YouTube. I actually just got done recording this Q&A video, but I did want to give a quick shout out to Hot Pockets for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, Hot Pockets. Hot Pockets. It's a quick, easy, tasty snack that you can eat on your breaks, giving breaks, school breaks, any break. I love it. Mika's jealous. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hi guys. Uh, we're filming a Q&A video today. I asked you guys to ask me questions that you wanted to know. I was gonna pick a few from Instagram and answer them. In this video. I think we'll definitely do more of these, so if your question wasn't answered, I'm sorry, but I picked some questions that were asked more often. Yeah. Okay, first question. Right off the bat, <laughs> any relationship advice? Um, I actually answered this on Instagram. I commented, a happier, healthier you will attract other happier, healthier people and which will in turn lead to a happier, healthier relationship. That is like my go-to one-off relationship advice. Um, and I think it's something to remember that, you know, the more you focus on yourself and better yourself, uh, the better your future relationships will probably be. Self-love first. Next question, what advice do you have to the hate and cyberbullying that comes with streaming slash how do you handle it? Uh, my advice for that, I always tell people that um, it should be expected. <laughs> there is nothing you can do. There, whatever you do in life, whether whoever you are, however kind you are, whatever you do, there's always gonna be people that will poop on you for whatever reason. And there's so many different reasons for people just to hate people for no reason. You know, anger, um, you know, they don't know how to deal with something that's going on in their own life, you know, just. If you exist, you probably have a hater or will eventually have one. So uh, my advice is just to understand that it's normal. Like if someone hates you, that's, it's okay. <laughs> you should never let that stop you from doing anything. Otherwise you're just never gonna be happy in life because there's always gonna be someone hating you for whatever you do. I don't know, dude, I just don't care. <laughs> I've been in social media for like, what, five years now? So it's like, I've heard it all. I've seen it all, I've heard it all. And it's just like, so has everyone else. Everyone's heard everything, everyone's seen everything. And it's all, it's all a big meme now. What did you do to grow yourself on Twitch? Like what main things did you do to get yourself noticed? I'm stuck as heck and I want to get some advice from one of my favorite streamers. Your new hair looks amazing by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Um, are you okay? Come here. Okay. He's afraid of the camera stick, the table, and the pillows, and noises, so he's like always on edge. He's okay, poppers. Um, I already uploaded a YouTube video on my tips and advice for um, helping your channel grow, helping your socials grow. Pretty much, I didn't start with Twitch. I actually started with Instagram, so I sort of already had a following, and I heard about Twitch, you know, like since I, you know, I had a followers or viewers already because of my other platforms and you start collaborating playing with other streamers and you know posting on YouTube doing it all everything um, oh I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry if you want more on that subject I recommend watching my other video because I pretty much go more in depth on how I grew and some advice and tips that may help you as well what made you start streaming uh, what had happened was I had an Instagram page and it was a gaming page. I pretty much, I was working at GameStop as well at the time and I was uploading, um, you know, upcoming releases I was excited for, game, current games I was playing, you know, some of my old retro consoles and old games I used to play. It was just a gaming page and it blew up to like 15,000 followers and that's when uh, my people, <laughs> my followers were suggesting uh, I stream on Twitch. And so I was like, okay, I don't know what this is, but all right. And so I did, and now here I am four years later. 
crazy. Yeah, I didn't expect this all to happen. Uh, what advice do you have for younger streaming girls in the Twitch community who face harassment or bullying? Trust me, honey, everyone gets bullied. It's not just girls and kids, it's literally everyone. Like I mentioned earlier, it doesn't matter who you are, you will get pooped on. Just know that is, it's a normal, it's gonna happen. We have to accept these things. It's like a small, it's like a, a little, 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 little con to all of the pros to being, you know, doing something that makes you happy. How do you get through bad times? By the way, I love your hair. Thank you. How do you get through bad times? Um, the worst time. I've had I've had quite a few horrible, horrible times in my life. Uh, but I guess the most recent, not I guess not recent, it happened like a year ago. But uh, one of a tragic thing that I had to go through was um, pretty much watching my dad die. I, I watched my dad pass away from cancer. He had lung cancer, brain cancer, bone cancer, and it was just everywhere. It was one of those things where it was inevitable. He was definitely going to pass. Um, I had to really accept that. And I, I openly talk about this because everyone experiences loss. And I, I think that sharing, you know, how, how I dealt with it uh, could help some of you. My dad passed away and I just had to tell myself, you know, that is part of life. Losing and loss is part of life. And it helps us appreciate what we do have in the moment. It just makes me love my mom and my sister and my friends so much more. Um, it makes me care more about people now, right now in the moment, because I know how hard it is to lose people that you care about. Try to make every situation in life that we go through a learning experience, whether how horrible it is, we can be wiser from it. We can learn from it. We can grow from it. We can become better people for like lesser, you know, lesser issues that are, you know, not dealing with loss, but like, you know, day-to-day -day things. Like if you spill your coffee, is it really that big of a deal? At least you have, you know, hands to hold coffee, right? <laughs> you know, at least you have hot water. At least you have internet right now to watch this video, right? There's things that we can be thankful for and to appreciate. Next. Have you got any other games planned to play on stream in the near future? I am very excited for The Last of Us Part 2. I just recently played through Kingdom Hearts 3. I played Kingdom Hearts 1 when I was in third grade, so I was very, 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 very excited to play through that. Apex Legends just came out that I'm actually really loving right now. Probably forgetting like a major title that I can't think of right now that's coming out that I'd be very excited for. But I'm always, there's always something new that's coming out that I just, I'm very excited to play. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Will you still be streaming? Um, 10 years? Um, hopefully happy and healthy. I don't know. Will you still be streaming? Well, I've been playing games my whole life and I don't think I'd ever just stop playing games. It's just what I do to have fun. I think so. If I'm not quitting games, I don't see why I wouldn't stream. I feel like if I'm playing a game, I might as well stream it, you know? Have my people with me that have been tagging along, even the lurkers, all right? This is us. We going. <laughs> Any advice on how to improve your mental health? Yes. Uh, a long time ago, before I was a streamer, when I was working like two to three jobs at a time, um, I didn't really have any friends. I was just working all the time. I had like one boyfriend who, uh, you know, just you know, was cheating on me and awful, awful, awful. Just I was at an all-time low, you know? The type of low where you just don't want it anymore. Things that really helped me was really, really just starting to care more about yourself. Like caring and putting in an effort and knowing that this is the one life you have to live. Uh, working out has been a big thing to me. That's why I preach it all the time. Uh, going out more, uh, building friendships, uh, reading, trying to read more, meditating. That's a big thing, trying to meditate. You know, pick up hobbies, just Go to a therapist, try to talk to somebody, talk to people. Um, yeah, mental health. That's a big, important, important thing to care about. That is something that should be a priority in all of our lives. It's just a deep <laughs> topic. 
hearts, dude. What was the first game you played? The very first game I ever played was called Bubble Bobble on the NES. And I was like, what, six? I don't know how old I was, but it was so much fun. Hey, I just wanted to say I live, love your videos first, lol. Do you plan on doing anything else besides gaming? Sorry if it's common knowledge, I just don't recall you saying anything about it. Um, I actually used to have hobbies other than gaming before gaming took over my life. I used to snowboard, I could still probably snowboard pretty well. I used to play the piano and I used to be very into tennis. Yeah, I had some sick hobbies. I used to go to a lot of concerts. I mean, I could go to a lot of concerts now and stuff, but um, just yeah, the stream life, this is grind life. Social media life is grindy. I would like to get more um, into playing the piano again, but I need to get another keyboard. Okay, what was the biggest obstacle that you struggled with? Uh, Self-love, obviously. Like just really making yourself a priority. I was always the type of person to always put others before myself. Like in, you know, it, it just led to nothing but disappointment. <laughs> you know, you give your all to someone and then that person gone is gone, then you're left with nothing. You're just pure sadness. I want to be an inspiration. I want to love myself. I want to be happy. I want to, you know, I want to make a difference in others' lives, but also um, to do that, you need to make a difference within yourself. If you had an infinite amount of money, what would you do with it? Infinite amount of money. Obviously, take care of my family, which I feel like I'm already doing right now. And if it was infinite, take care of a lot of other people. I'm not really like splurgy. I don't really indulge. One thing that I do indulge in is ordering food. I should probably stop doing that and actually learn how to cook. <laughs> money doesn't make you happy, money makes you comfortable. There you go, comfortable. That's something we always have to remember. Money is not, not the key to happiness, it's the key to comfort. It, oh, my ethnicity, that's a commonly asked question. Um, I am pretty much half German, half Filipino, so. Technically, I'm a quarter German, Filipino, Spaniard, and Swiss. Favorite anime? I feel like that question was actually asked quite a bit. I haven't seen a whole lot of anime compared to a lot of other people, but one of the ones I'm watching right now that I absolutely loved is called The Promised <laughs> Neverland, and it is so good. If you like people eating people, people getting eaten by stuff, and it's a, it's a little spoopy. If you like Attack on Titan, you will love this anime. Some of the ones I've watched in the past that I absolutely loved, Hunter x Hunter, one of my favorites. My Hero Academia, obviously. I mean, who doesn't love My Hero? Death Note, I really liked. One of the first ones I ever watched. Samurai Champloo, I really loved as well. I'll have a list. You know, maybe we'll do an updated list on, an, on a different Q&A video. All right, that concludes it for this Q&A video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely will do more in the future. I guess you could say this is Q&A number one. If you have any other questions, you can leave a question uh, in the comment section below and I think I'll go through the comments here for the next Q&A video. We're leaving. Say goodbye. Bye. Eh. <laughs>